Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Libra love prediction reading for August 14th through August 20th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, fun, peaceful, kind, sweet Libras. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on, my Libras? What's going on? Show me, spirit guys. Let's see, Libras, what you got going on. The sun, ace of pentacles, four of cups, king of swords. King of swords has been coming out of all my readings this week. And the wheel of fortune. Well, let me say this about the sun. The sun is the best card in the deck. That's what they always say. It's one of the best cards in the deck. This sun card also illuminates, though. It, it tells you the good and the bad, the pros and the cons with anything, with the relationship. It shows you the pros and the cons. And if either way it goes, though, if you break up with someone, it's going to be for your best because the sun always shows what's good for you. So if you break up with someone, it's going to be for your best. If you stay with them, it's still going to be the, the best for you. Either way it goes, the sun is going to illuminate. The sun is going to illuminate the pros and the cons. And it's also a card of happiness, enjoyment. Someone makes you feel like a teenager again. Not only that, somebody has a bag. That ace of pentacles there, somebody has a bag. I don't know. It could be you, though. I'm going to be very honest. It could be you that has the bag. I'm going to be very, very honest with you because the Ace of Pentacles leads me to believe that it is you that has the bag. Now, you're looking at the Sun card because whomever you're with, though, they, you, they are, this person makes, it's fun for you. This person makes you feel young again. This person, um, if you're not young, this person um, makes you feel like you're on top of the world, like you're walking on clouds. This person makes you feel like that. But there's, some, there's something here, and I'm going to keep reading. I'm going to tell you what I see because the Four of Cups is here. And the Four of Cups means that for some reason, though, for some reason, you're not giving them all your love. And it has something to do with money. I'm going to be very honest with you because I see that Ace of Pentacles. And with that Ace of Pentacles, that Four of Cups is looking right at this Ace of Pentacles. See how she's looking right at this Ace of Pentacles? For some reason, you're not giving them your total heart space, even though they're fun. All of the above, you have a good time with them. They make you feel young again, like you're walking on clouds. There is something about them that's making you not give them your total. It's, it's, it's giving you pause. It's giving you pause. You're not giving your total to them, your total heart to them. I see the King of Swords here, and a King of Swords, King of Swords can be an air sign, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But the King of Swords is, is a rational person too. They're very rational, but for some reason, I see that they don't have the paper like you have the paper, and I think you're a little bit afraid. I'm just being very honest. I think you're a little bit afraid of that. I really, really do think that you're a little bit afraid of, of, of opening, giving your total heart to someone that is not as grounded as you are, that maybe is not in the same station in life that you are. This is someone, they are a good person. They are, they are a good person. This is someone that um, is fun, spontaneous, has a good time. You have a good time with them. However, they're lacking money. They're lacking money. And I see you being just a little bit um, holding back because you're not quite sure. Because obviously you've worked hard to get your money. You've been smart to get your money. But they bring you so much joy and happiness. But yet there's still room for pause because I see this person is still being very much um still doing their thing you know they're still they're still not grounded enough for you and that concerns you but and I, then i see the will of fortune here and that to me is interesting because i'm going to tell you what i think this relationship is 
I think it's a karmic relationship. I think it's a relationship that you need to learn from. Now, whatever you're going to learn, we're going to keep reading. Because remember, the sun is card is here and it illuminates. Remember I said that. If you stay with them, it's going to be good for you. If you leave them or if you guys break up, it's going to be good for you. Whatever, whichever way this goes, this karmic relationship goes, it's very, it, this is a karmic relationship. And whichever way it goes, it's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for you. Give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the relationship. Let me, excuse me, clarify the uh, reading for you. Let me clarify the reading, which is a relationship. Give me three to five minutes. Sit back, relax. Um, and I'm going to see what the spirit guys are going to tell us about this relationship. Show me spirit guys. Why is the sun card here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the sun card here for my Libras? Show me. What do you want us to tell them about this relationship? Why is the sun card here? Oh, I have a Ten of Cups. A Ten of Cups. That's pretty strong. Uh, over this Sun card, you think you found someone. Um, the Ten of Cups, you think you did. You found your happy ever after. You're plus one forever. Ten of Cups, you think that you know you're going to have your kids with them. You're going to be married. The whole nine yards. But there's still, there's a pause here. Remember that in the middle of the reading. But you think you found them. You definitely think that. You feel that. But let's see why this, show me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for my Libras? Show me why the Ace of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I see the devil. So the devil, there's something here. But the devil can be about lust. It can be about an obsession. Um, it is, um, the devil card also can represent a Capricorn sun sign. But it's about an addiction to someone. It's a it's a it's a, it's a um it's a lust card. It's like this is some good this is good yum yum. It's just really good. You guys can't keep your hands off of each other. You can't keep your hands off of each other, but yet and still there is room for pause. And I think that there's more lust here than love. I'm gonna say that. I think that you're only looking at them from through the lens because you've got the money. You're the one that has the bag. They make you feel good because they know exactly what to do to you. They're good with their intimacy. They're on point with that. However, you're clouded by that right now because now here you are seeing rainbows and unicorns with this sun card here. But the four of cups gives you pause. And I don't know why you're not giving your total heart to them. Let's see. Show me spirit guys. Why? Show me spirit guys. Why is this Four of Cups in the middle of this read? Why is this Four of Cups here? What is Libra? What's going on? Why is the Four of Cups here? Well, I have a Nine of Cups. Now, here's the deal. The Nine of Cups means that your wish is fulfilled. The Ten of Cups, which you had here at the beginning of your reading, was the fact that you wanted to be married to them. Something's happened with this nine of cups. One of the cups is gone. That's that cup that's missing here. There's a reason why this cup is not there. There's a reason why they're just your wish fulfilled now. And it is not, you're not looking at marriage. It has something to do with money. It has something to do with money. Um, so you now are down to nine of cups. You're not so much looking at them. And like I said, there's, there's, there's a four of cups means that you're holding back. You're holding back. So let's see. Why is this King of Swords here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the King of Swords here? Show me why is the King of Swords here? Uh-oh. I see the moon card. They are not as they portrayed to you. That, that is what has happened. I told you. Thank you, spirit, guys. They're not. The moon card can represent a Pisces sun sign as well. But this moon card lets me know that they betrayed you. That they are an illusion. You thought they were one way, but they're not. That is the, who this King of Swords is here. That's who this King of Swords is. This is someone that, um, uh-uh, uh-uh. They tell you one thing, but they're really another way. They're not who you thought they were. And that's why you pause. That's why there's pause here. You know, you were ready to give away everything. You were ready to give them your credit cards and everything. You know, put them on your house. You were ready to do everything. And then, uh-oh. Something happened where you saw them for what they truly are. When people show you who they are, good for you, believe them. You didn't question it, but you pulled back that love. You didn't give them all of your love. 
Out of all the good loving they could give, you did not give them your total heart. So let's see why this Wheel of Fortune is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for my Pisces? Who? I said Pisces. I'm thinking about that moon card. Perhaps this is a Pisces. Show me why the Wheel of Fortune is here for my Libras. Show me, Spirit, guys. Oh, I see what has happened here. This High Priestess. This was another woman. This was a car. This is another woman. Yeah, this was another woman. This is a karmic relationship, though. Before you jump head in with somebody, you need to figure out what they're really about. And that's what this relationship has taught you. This was a karmic relationship. Um, the high priestess lets me know there was another woman here. Um, that's what they told you they were all on, into you, but they want, there was another woman here. That high priestess is the other woman, the secret. That's the secret. Absolutely the secret. And this is a karmic relationship. Let's start here with the sun. Someone that brings you sunshine, goodness, unicorns, rainbows. But remember, like I said, the sun card also illuminates the pros and the cons. If you stay with them, it's going to be for your good. If you break up with them, it's going to be for your good. The sun will always bring things for your good. You saw everything at the beginning of this relationship. This ten of cups, you were ready to marry them. You were ready to give them the credit cards, everything. You know, hey, put their name on the house, buy them a car. You were ready to do everything because you got a bag here with this ace of pentacles you're the one that has the money you've got a bag you've got money the devil card is here because you know what you got clouded and i'm going to be very honest with you because we've all been down this you got you got strung out a little bit you got sprung a little bit i'm just hey it is what it is lee but we've all been there but i do believe that they hey they turned you out for a minute but guess what you were just smart enough to pull back you didn't give them your total heart this four of cups lets me know you would not give them your total heart. There was something that pulled it back because now you were at ten of cups. Remember, you were ready to give it away all. You didn't even know what their name was yet, but you was ready to give it back. That's how good it was to you. But, but that nine of cups there, you pulled back from the ten to the nine of cups. Nine of cups is a wish fulfilled. Ten of cups is married happily ever after. Guess what? This was a king of swords person. This was a king of swords energy, air energy, Libra, uh, Aquarius, or... Um, could have been um king of swords can be an air sign is what i'm trying to say gemini libra aquarius but there's something about this person with the moon card there the moon card can represent a pisces sun sign and it's all about uh they betrayed you they betrayed you they were not as what you thought they were they were not and this is a karmic relationship and i'll tell you again i'll go down with this is a karmic relationship this is something you had to learn before you give away everything, before you are so trusting, trust but verify. Because they had another woman, this high priestess. They had another woman, a secret woman. You need to learn to trust but verify. Don't jump head into things. And I think this was a relationship that you just had to learn from. You just had to learn from this relationship. So let's see. Show me, spirit guys. Show me, spirit guys. Show me, oracles, what do you want to tell my Libras? 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 What do you want to tell my Libras?